So hi guys, make sure we join that back again with another video for you guys. And I hope everyone's staying safe. Right here I have the Autobox Defender for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. Of course, they do make it for the iPhone 11 Pro and 11 as well. Alright, so this case is uh, in fact very infamous because it has been around for many, many, many years. Alright, so let's get right into the package itself. You can see right here on the top, Autobox branding as usual, Defender in the center. And then this is of course the screenless edition. This used to come with a built-in screen protector but however, they have updated their models because actually in my opinion, the inbuilt screen protector is uh, basically crap. And I think I'd rather use a full coverage tempered glass screen protector which I'll be showing you later. Alright, so let's take a look at the bottom you get for iPhone 11 Pro Max. You can see auto box drop tested. On the side we get the Defender series screenless edition. On the back, let's take a look. So defend your device from drops dirt and daily adventures you can see drop protection multi-layer protection so it's basically two layers of protection one soft tpu outer layer and one hard polycarbonate shell of course with the uh, foam backing okay dust protection because it has pot covers and a belt clip holster of course in these days people don't really use the belt clip holster but, i mean those in construction they would love this feature all right so let's slide the case out of the package I've actually used this for a bit so I can give you my honest opinion. All right, so let's put the case to the side. Let's look at what else comes in the box. So let's move that tray out. So we have this inner sleeve and also auto box global limited warranty. What else do we have? This is a limited warranty schedule. All right, let's focus on the case itself. So you can see this is actually the belt clip holster which has this uh, rotatable belt clip. Okay, let's take the case out. So this is a uh, holster, also doubles up as a kickstand. So you can see right here. So if you have the case installed on your device, you can actually prop it up, something like this. And you can watch your movies. But of course, it only has one angle. It doesn't work in the other orientation. Okay, let's take a look at this case itself. You can see the case on the back. This is the blue color. They have it in multiple colors. You can check out their website. I'll leave the link in the description below. And also, because of my collaboration with Autobox, we are giving a discount voucher on Lazada. So I will leave the link in the description. For Malaysian buyers, you can just click on the link, collect the voucher, and then you can purchase any Autobox products for 6% off. So right here, we have the case. Let's take a look around the case so you can see the camera cutout right here. As usual, Autobox branding on the bottom. You can see the dust pot right here. This dust flap. And on the left side, we get the volume up and down as well as a protected cutout and cover for the mute switch. On the right side, you get a power button. All right, so that's about it. On the front, you can see there's a polycarbonate layer right here. Alright, so let's take it out of this TPU layer. In fact, I think once you get the idea on how to take out the first layer, it's actually very easy. Alright, so you can see the inner polycarbonate shell, or I should say plastic shell. You can see this is plastic. It's hard and sturdy. Alright, so on the case, if you do want to install it, you do have to take a look. You do have to take note of these uh, arrows right here. You can see there are some arrows right here on the top. You can see these clips. You do, however, have to remove them with care because this actually breaks apart pretty easily if you like dig it out very out up or you have been very rough with the case. So for me, I just like to work my way around slowly. You can see it's all opening up. Go for the bottom as well. So there's one here. Can I take it out? Oh, I can't take it out yet. So right here, very simple and easy. <coughs> right, so we now have the case separated right here, as you can see. All right, guys, so now we have the case separated. Let's take a look at the back portion of the shell. You can see this uh, memory foam. You can see this very nice and soft memory foam in case your phone does drop on the back. This will actually cushion off the device. You can see some outer box drop protection embossed logo on the back okay so basically that's it 
So let me install my iPhone 11 Pro Max right here. So installing the back, very simple. Just drop it in and then install the front portion. Make sure all the clips are clipped in. Okay, secure now. It's very easy installing this uh, TPU sleeve. So all you need to do is just work your way around. Bottom first if possible because you have the pot protectors right there. It's very easy. You just need to make sure it goes into the groove right here. So once that happens, basically you're good to go. You can see right here as I'm working my way around the case. Just massage it if it doesn't go in. Okay, pot protectors are in. Alright, so you can see that's a pretty easy install. Of course, it becomes very bulky with this case, but you're considering the amount of drop protection that this case provides. I mean, it's definitely the way to go. However, I think the best balance right now from Autobox will be the commuter series because the commuter series is actually thinner and it also survives drops from up to 50 feet as what Apple, as what everything Apple Pro actually tested. I mean, that's crazy considering the this case, I guess the maximum would be maybe six feet to seven feet but i would trust it be 11 feet as well but that was insane at 50 feet and it survived not this case but the autobox commuter so i think the autobox commuter is the best balance but of course it doesn't provide the amount of uh, dust protection as the autobox defender because there's also a pop protector right here so i think this is a pretty all-round case okay one more thing if you notice that I actually have a H to H screen protector from Auto Box, so you can see as it fits perfectly inside the Auto Box Defender. I mean, they are both from the same brand; they should fit, but it, they also be able. But this case, but honestly, this case is also able to fit in well with the Panzer Glass H to H as well. I'm very surprised actually, but of course, you do need to make sure that the screen protector is lined up perfectly. Otherwise, you're going to get a bit of lifting at the side. However, the H2H or any of other box screen protectors are actually made to fit with their cases as well as LifeProof because technically, LifeProof and Autobox are the same company. Right, so you can see very tactile buttons. Volume buttons as well works perfectly. All the cutouts are precise. You can see on the bottom for the speaker, nothing is obstructing them. Even the microphone as well. The camera wide open all right so that concludes our unboxing of the other box defender so if you're interested to check so if you're interested to buy this case i'll leave the link in the description and so do subscribe to this channel for more content just like this and also like this video if you did like it and i'll see you guys in the next video